Well, as the legal side of this tragedy unfolds, a community and school district are mourning the loss of 17-year-old Blake Romes and his brother, 14-year-old Blaine Romes. WNWO's Bryant Madrick was in Putnam County again today where he talked to people who knew the brothers best. Bryant? One thing that stood out to me today was the pain and sadness I saw in the faces of people I talked with. You know, the village of Ottawa was dealt a serious blow with the loss of these two brothers, two young men that left an impact on a lot of people. Throughout the day, people stopped by the home where Blake and Blaine Rome's lived and dropped off flowers or cards to remember their young lives. You never expect anything like this to happen, especially when it's right next door. I mean, I woke up to all this. Woke up to police tape, candles, and notes for the victims. And police still are monitoring a house turned into a crime scene. The person who may hold the answers to what happened inside this home is 17 year old Michael Fay, who's currently in police custody. But who is Michael Fay? Seemed like a normal kid, like anybody else. I mean, just driving around, having fun, hanging out with his friends. I, I see him out there playing basketball and stuff. If Fay is normal, the mood in this trailer park community is far from it. Nobody's outside, and when everybody is outside, it's kind of like just kind of just sad. It's, it's stressful, it's tense. I mean, obviously, it's going to be tense. That's how students at Ottawa Glendorf High School described the feeling as they went back to school. Grief counselors were available throughout the district. A classmate of 17 year old Blake Rome's remembers his personality. Blake was a really sweet guy. He was, whenever you see him around school, he, he always helped people. He always said nice things. I don't think I ever saw a bad thing come out of his mouth. Kind words weren't spared for younger brother, 14-year-old Blaine Romes. Students I talked with say the Ottawa Glendorf Elementary student was a smart and kind kid who was chosen as student of the year. Every time I'd come out in the mornings or something and they would be out, they would say hi to me and, you know, ask me how my day is and just, you know, ask me if I needed anything. Just good kids. Good kids who are now gone. Bottom line, this story is just tragic, especially when you think this Sunday is Mother's Day. One mom will never see her kids again, and another as a child in police custody. Angie, back to you. All right, thanks so much, Brian.